What it do, it's too true. How's everyone doing? I hope everything's all right with y'all. I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded, but I have something real special for y'all in light of the new Rust Building 4.0. Today, I present to you the Apollo. This solo duo and maybe even trio base build is my favorite base build yet. Now let's get into the base build. So in the beginning here, we have an oil refinery. Um, now you just go ahead and step up these stairs here into the little airlock here and we have a lot of used honeycomb um, we have lockers vending machines and the like this build also has a new exploit here brought to you by some members of the evil worst to discord community if you aren't already a part of it i highly suggest you go check them out for the newest building exploits Now hopping into here we have our core, a large battery here in the back, and if you take off this window and the second window you have access to your TC. And going back upstairs. Here we have access to another second floor here. This here would be our shooting floor. Beautiful triangle ladder hatches. I have some extra storage here, an extra locker. And here we have space for our helicopter hangar. And behind this garage, we have our triangle spiral ladder stairs. Just going to fix this garage real quick. Now going back to our triangle ladder stairs. We have some beautiful peak downs for the door campers you may encounter. An even better peak down right here between the stairs and another one right here. Now replace these windows here pretty easy to repair as well now heading up the stairs you can still peek out of people that are on top of your roof right here and then it's a little hard to get through this door here but still manageable and then we have a windmill on top just in case you need the electricity this base build could not have been done without Builder's Sanctuary. Definitely my favorite choice for building servers. They even have a server on the staging brand so you can try out all the new additions before your friends do. Now let's get into the build. Now here we're going to start out with stage 1, which is going to cost you around 2760 stones and 460 wood. You're going to go ahead and throw a floor triangle foundation and your TC, make sure you place it all the way to the right hand side so that you can access it later on. Go ahead and close that off, throw another foundation down, upgrade that as you can. Go ahead and place a triangle foundation and then a wall frame here to close it all off. I'll put your door down and this is the end of stage one here. You should be able to live through this for just the very beginning of wipe just to get the first base down, claim the area. Now here you can put down all of your starting materials, your furnaces, sleeping bags, boxes, and fireplace. This is also a great place to put your TC right there on the triangle against this wall here. Now going on to stage two, we're going to put out a foundation here, another triangle foundation, another triangle foundation, and this here is going to be your airlock. Now close it all off. Make sure it looks like this here. Now upgrade all of that to stone. Make sure to upgrade this into wood so that you can pick it out later. That will soon serve as our drop down. 
Now for this triangle area, we're gonna go ahead and pause the video right here. We're gonna go and check out what we can fit inside of triangle foundations inside of our honeycomb. So here I have some boxes, just some extra storage, a locker, obviously you can fit a large battery, you can fit three furnaces, and you can even access all three of them, and you can put in vending machines and a tier two. I would highly suggest that you place the tier two or tier one inside of this location at the bottom instead of these furnaces here. Then you can go ahead and close that off with a window, upgrade it to stone, and you still have your honeycomb, but it's usable. Now at the end of stage two, this is what you have. Going on to stage three. Go ahead and put this here. Put a half wall and a floor triangle. Make sure you upgrade the floor triangle because this is going to be your way of getting up. Now go ahead and hop up here and close this area off. Go ahead and throw a doorway down. Put a door on it. And when you're ready, go ahead and break this, replace it with the wall, and then break the floor above it, and now you have a jump up. Go ahead and throw down your furnace, and a tri triangle floor frame. Now you're able to do this exploit here, successfully. But it's very, very important to note that people will still be able to jump inside over top of this just because there's no triangle floor in between. So go ahead and do that. There's a triangle right there. Upgrade that to stone right in the middle. And now people cannot enter this area. They can soft side pick so you can upgrade that triangle to metal if you like. Now go ahead and throw some honeycomb around the outside using all triangle foundations. Then throw a square in between this area here and put down your roof. This will be our new means of entrance here. Now close off the old entrance that you used. This will serve as better honeycomb. Sorry, the audio got really weird around here. Wasn't too sure how to fix it. Now you're gonna wanna throw down your new airlock right here. Then close off this entire area. section off the roof should look like this at this point now you're gonna want to stone it all up it's gonna end up costing you around 10k stones so make sure that you farm up before this step here go ahead and close everything off now obviously including your airlock now this area right here you're gonna need to make it not stone the one right next to this door here make sure that you watch this video completely before you actually decide to build it throw away that door now and now we're up onto metal doors go ahead and finish off the rest of the honeycomb here Place all the rest of the doors 
with metal doors. Now at this point you're going to want to break out all of your starter items and replace it with an actual loot room here. Now you can still open up the TC and still have access to it through here. Now you're going to want to put your bags, your two bags can fit here perfectly with the tier 3. So make sure it's far along this wall here and then go ahead and inch your way to the left so it's still inside that triangle foundation. Now after this you're going to want to start finishing up all the honeycomb up top. Now this is the way to our third floor. Right here you're going to get rid of that triangle area right there. Put a door down. Finish up with the rest of your triangles. Place whatever you need in there. If not you can just completely close it off. Furnish this area, and at this point, you should probably have both glass reinforced windows and garage doors. Now, you can replace this with the most important deployable ever the repair bench. Go ahead and close off the windows. Now you can fit the reinforced glass windows on both of these as well. Now here you can fit your tier 3 along with the small boxes that go underneath it. Now if you'd like you can put another sleeping bag in this area, but as I said it is more than likely going to be a duo base, so I put down more storage and you can fully lock it off just like this. Now there's no way anybody can get through there. Here, throw down your triangle frame. If you want a shooting floor, you can go ahead and keep on going here. But by all means, you can stop at this point, and it's already a very strong base. You can leave it at this, just this roof axis right here. Now moving on, if you really want that shooting floor, you can go ahead and bring these two honeycomb areas up a little bit and add a helipad and that can be it. But as I said, if you want a shooting floor, go ahead and throw down these two foundations here, throw some walls up. Close that off completely. In this section you're going to want to put a square foundation. And you come that off. Now adding this third floor is going to cost you around 10,000 stones. So make sure that you farm up before you decide to go out on a whim and build this. Make sure that you follow me exactly here. 
gets quite confusing on the roof. So here you can put a triangle foundation if you're a really good flower flyer, but you'll see in the end of the video that I put down a square floor and then a triangle afterwards because I'm not that good at flying. Now here you're gonna go ahead and put a wall frame and do not close this area off. I keep on putting triangle foundations there when I should have. But this is the bones of what the roof should look like. Again, that triangle floor right there could be a square, then a triangle floor. Now here you can put a small low wall to try and shoot at people in front of your door. But I think it's best if you just leave it as a window. At this point, I'm going to want to close off the entire thing. Obviously, instead of these areas, we're going to be putting down a garage door. Go ahead and close off the entire roof. And place this wall as well. Now here we're going to put down our little airlock to get to our helicopter. Go ahead and throw down a garage door in this area as well. Now at this point, we should be done with the third floor. Now we're going to make our way up to the last floor. Don't forget to window off all of your windows here. Now at this point here, you're gonna to wanna to put down your triangle staircases. Make sure that they're facing this way so that you can make it fully go up the door or up the walls here into the door. Go ahead and close this area off. Put down a half wall. Make sure that the four triangles are here. Upgrade it all to stone. Put down a doorway. Upgrade the stairs as well. As I said, these are phenomenal peak downs. Lots of visibility. And throw down your door here. One thing people may not know about this here is this also serves as an airlock. It's very, very difficult to try and get down these stairs. Even with somebody jumping on your head, it takes quite a long time. So you can be rest assured that when you open down the, open this door here, it would be very difficult for perpetrators to try and enter your base. Now this extra triangle here, go ahead and throw down whatever you'd like. Close off the window. And that is your base finished. As I said before, you're going to want to put down a floor, a floor triangle here, just because I'm terrible at flying. 
Makes for a beautiful entrance. And also it fits completely in here, very snug. Now if you'd like and you got really lucky enough to get a windmill, you're gonna wanna go ahead and jump up on top of your door area here. With some wall frames, throw some triangles on it. And throw down your windmill. Now if you get lucky again and somehow find an oil refinery, you can go ahead and put down foundations just like this, remove the center foundation, upgrade everything else to stone, throw in your walls here, and put down your oil refinery. You may also access this by throwing down a half wall and then a low wall and just blocking it in like that. Now you can add in a little ramp just cause and finish off your base. If you've made it to this point, I'd like to say a huge thank you. If you can, please leave a like and subscribe for more amazing videos. Love you all. Stay positive. Peace.